You're watching UNICEF television. They sit helplessly watching their children cry in pain. Scores of mothers nurse their sons and daughters, hoping their weak bodies would be able to fight death. Hunger has drained the life out of millions of children in Pakistan's Sindh province. Three months after the monsoon floods hit the region, hundreds of thousands of families are struggling to find food and shelter. Families that were just beginning to rebuild their lives after the catastrophic floods in 2010. Hit hard by an extraordinary disaster for the second time, they find themselves unable to deal with the double tragedy. Even before the recent floods, more than a third of children across the country were underweight. Malnutrition rates are now critical, and the situation has reached a state of emergency. But amidst the chaos and despair, two-and-a-half-year-old Muhammad Ali is battling the circumstances to rewrite his story and overcome his debilitating condition. He wasn't eating and had a high fever for 10 to 12 days. I took him to a doctor who told me to get his chest x-rays done. First the doctor said he had pneumonia. Then he said he had tuberculosis. Finally, somebody told me about this health center, so I took my son there and he was admitted to the hospital. Muhammad Ali was diagnosed with severe acute malnutrition. He weighed barely seven kilos. He was in critical condition and we did not think he would survive. His parents had no hope. Initially, his recovery was slow, but the doctors here at the stabilization center and even his mother worked hard on him. And after a week, we got good results and we were able to discharge him and refer him to the outpatient department. Today, he is here for his checkup and we have found considerable improvement. Working closely with the Sindh government, UNICEF and WHO have set up over 50 stabilization centers like this one in southern Pakistan. Thousands of children are currently under treatment and will soon be back on their feet again. Words aren't enough to describe Noorbano's relief. She's grateful to see her son get a second shot at life. But her torment doesn't end here. There are seven other children at home to feed. Seven others who are staving off starvation to stay alive. This is Priyanka Pruthi reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.